Protests against the proposed Keystone XL pipeline in the USA, emotional protests against shark calling in Australia, a flying snake mystery solved, and a whole bunch of baby animals born in zoos. That's all coming up in this week's two-minute roundup of nature news from around the world. Thousands of Americans are protesting against the proposed Keystone XL tar sands pipeline. If President Obama gives the go-ahead, it will connect Alberta, Canada to the Gulf Coast refineries and will carry around 800,000 barrels of the oil a day. Tar sands oil has been dubbed the world's dirtiest oil and carries a huge carbon footprint, sometimes requiring more energy to produce than it creates. And sticking with protests, Australians have turned out in huge numbers to demonstrate their outrage at the Western Australian government's plan to cull sharks. Leave the sharks alone! The controversial plan aims to keep beaches safer for bathers, but scientists are saying there is no evidence to suggest that killing sharks will reduce the risk of attacks. White sharks, bull sharks, and tiger sharks over three meters in length are the main targets, all of which are protected species in many countries. Flying snakes turn themselves into flying saucers in order to fly farther. Sound bizarre? Well, it is a bit, but new research into the paradise tree snake reveals that their unusual flattened stomach flying technique gives them just the right aerodynamics for gliding. Granted, the snake is not the world's best flyer, but it can definitely compete with the likes of squirrels and lizards. At any rate, it's a pretty cool adaptation for a snake. Off to Africa and an innovative way to prevent rhino poaching. Conservation group Rhino Rescue Project are poisoning rhino horns and adding an indelible dye in the hope that this will make the end product useless to consumers. Will it work? Only time will tell. And now, prepare for acuteness overload. It seems the various zoo breeding projects have had successes recently. A baby rhino was born at the Pilsen Zoo in the Czech Republic this week. In Texas, a baby two-toed sloth came into the world at the Ellen Trout Zoo. And in Canada, a baby polar bear at the Toronto Zoo continues to give us our daily dose of just plain adorable in a series of internet videos. On that note, you can get more info on all of these stories and much more on our website. And keep in touch with us on Facebook and Twitter. We'd love to hear from you.